Did you know that long before trees overtook the land, Earth was covered by giant mushrooms? Researchers found that land plants had evolved on Earth by about 700 million years ago and land fungi by about 1,300 million years ago. The largest living organism in the world today is a honey fungus measuring 2.4 miles across in the Blue Mountains in Oregon. In this video, we will deal with a particular type of fungi, which is capable to make a revolution in packaging, technology and construction industries. Before moving forward, please subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon to view these kind of interesting videos during release itself. Fungi play an important role in energy cycling within and between ecosystems. Most perceive a fungus only as a mushroom. Many see a mushroom and believe that this is the entirety of a fungus. However, the mushroom is only a part or an organ for certain species with the intent of producing spores for reproduction. If the mushroom is the fruiting body then what is the rest of the fungus? This begs the question, what collects the nutrients for the fruiting body to fruit? This is where the importance of understanding what mycelium is comes into effect. Mycelium is the vegetative body for fungi that produce mushrooms and, in some cases, species of fungi that never produce a mushroom. When compared to a plant, mycelium is the root system and the mushroom is the flower. Mycelium is the massive branching network of thread-like hyphae that colonies of fungi use to break down organic material and absorb nutrients. In fact, that's one of the most important aspects of their role in the ecosystem. Mycelium breaks down dead matter and puts the nutrients back into the environment. So this will produce an acophriendly material from natural waste products. Although not particularly tasty, when dried, mycelium can form an incredibly strong material that is not only water-resistant, but also fire and mold-resistant. It can be transformed into building blocks of different shapes that are 100% organic and compostable, with a consistency that is stronger than concrete when compared pound for pound. All you need is some organic matter, sawdust waste and a small amount of mushroom, and as the fungus consumes the sawdust nutrients, its mycelium grows into a solid block of cells, which can be confined within particular shaped molds. If you place two living fungal bricks alongside one another, they will fuse into an unbreakable bond within a few hours, a process that can only be halted by drying or curing the material, effectively killing the mycelium so it doesn't continue to grow and resulting in a rigid material. Once dried, this mycelium-built material can then be sanded and painted to resemble other building materials and used for commercial purposes. Not only is it sturdy, resilient and bulletproof, but it can withstand extreme temperatures and when its lifetime of use is over, the material can be easily composted. Mycelium is easy to grow into the shape of whatever mold it's put in. Relative to its weight, mycelium is stronger than concrete, giving it some potential for use in construction. It also kills and repels termites too. It grows fast and on just about any waste product we feed it. These advantages will help to avoid plastics in some fields. And because of that, this industry is now getting noticed, and many companies are doing research on mycelium. The business side of mycelium is in the growth zone. Its potential as a commercial building material has an exciting future. This can be used for partition purposes, as well as a lightweight filling material. Numerous companies are testing its properties, particularly as a substitute for styrofoam, as well as its application in the automotive industry to make interior of cars and trucks and the manufacture of surfboard. Mycelium materials have also been analyzed for use in theater building insulation for crystal clear audio. It is best to use as packaging material. It will secure the item from getting broke or damaged due to any kind of impact. And NASA is currently researching using mycelium to build habitable dwellings on Mars. The carbon dioxide absorbing properties of mycelium offset the building's carbon footprint by capturing twice its weight back in carbon dioxide. The mycelium cultivation, molding and selling will give high return on investment in the future for sure.